Hello everyone, this is the Green Snake Gamer playing Scooby-Doo, Night of a Hundred Frights, Lighthouse Fright House. So let's head back to the door we were at before. Now you can double jump right here in order to quickly get to the top. In case you fell off the pipe. Okay, let's go through the door. This leads us to Lighthouse Fright House Part 1. Let's break this crate and collect this box of Scooby Snacks. Might as well take care of the caveman first, just to get him out of the way. Okay, next I'm gonna go around and break all the crates. Okay, now here's some wooden beams on the floor. Take note of that. Now over here is a switch. Make sure to hit that. Now you gotta be quick here. We have to race that light all the way to the top. Be careful not to go too fast, or you won't be able to slow down to take care of these enemies. Once you get to the top, this platform lowers so you can go in here. Next, ram the light with the helmet invention or to break it. Here's another invention. This is the Super Smash invention. Make sure to collect this. Now, if you didn't make it in time, the light will go back down and you'll have to hit the switch and race it back up here all over again. Now, go over to these wooden beams and use the Super Smash invention or to break them. Let's go through the hole. This leads us to Lighthouse Fright House Part 2. Take care of the scuba diver enemy. Now you gotta be quick when crossing these bridges. Don't spend too much time on them, because they collapse. Now the camera angle is pretty bad here, so be careful of that hook swinging back and forth. Okay, just jump on this wooden beam here in order to jump up and collect this box of Scooby Snacks if you weren't able to get it before by bouncing off the caveman. Again, be careful of these swinging hooks while you're quickly getting across the bridge. That was close, almost fell off. Now all the way at the bottom, you can see this switch. We can now activate it using the Super Smash invention. This turns on the fan. Now here's a warp gate, make sure to walk into it to activate it. Now go straight ahead. Here's a snack gate. Let's pay the 500 Scooby Snacks in order to unlock it. I'm not gonna go through this door yet. Just getting that snack gate out of the way. Now head back. Now here's a switch, make sure to ram it with the helmet invention. This turns on the platform down below where we started. It gets it moving so we can go over and collect these Scooby Snacks. Now we just gotta get back up to where we were. 
Now you can take the long way around, or you can use a shortcut by using this flying fish. Use the super smash to bounce off the enemy in order to get back up here quickly. So this is a shortcut back to Mystic Manor. We do not have the invention we need to use the fan yet, so don't worry about it. Go through the door at the top. This leads us to going down Which Way Part 1. Now here's a caveman, let's take care of him quickly. Now here's those floating Scooby Snacks we couldn't collect before, so let's collect them. Okay, now that we collected those, let's go over to the warp gate. Now we're going to use it to warp over to Lighthouse Fright House Part 2. Now let's get back to the top and go through the door. Back to going down Which Way Part 1, where we were before. Again, let's take care of the caveman. Okay, that's all the snacks collected. Now this way leads to Lighthouse Fright House Part 3. Now jump across this boat quickly. Same with this boat before they sink. Now here's a fan. You can see there's another boat ahead of us, but we can't jump that far. We'll need to come back when we can use this fan to float across. Gotta be careful not to touch the water. So let's head back through the door. Back to going down which way part one. Okay, I'm gonna check the map. Now we got all the Scooby Snacks in going down which way. So let's head over to the warp gate. Now that we have the Super Smash invention, we can now hit the switches we couldn't hit before, as well as break any wooden beams we couldn't break before. So let's head over to the Mystery Machine. So let's get started. We're gonna go over to Smuggler's Cove. So now we're gonna be doing a little bit of cleanup work. This leads to Shock on the Dock Part 1. So I'm gonna head over to all the spots we need a Super Smash invention. Okay, now remember this switch from before. Now that we have the Super Smash invention, we can activate it. This drops the fishing net, which exposes a box of Scooby Snacks for us to collect. So let's go through the door, and head over to Shock on the Dock Part 2. Now let's go behind these houses. Now if you remember, there's a caveman up on that ledge guarding some Scooby Snacks that we couldn't get to before. Now that we have the Super Smash invention, we can use it to bounce off these flying fish in order to get up here. So let's collect these Scooby Snacks. All snacks collected. So that's all the Scooby Snacks on Shock on the Dock. So this area is clear. Take note of this. That will come in handy for an invention we'll get later on. But right now, don't worry about it. So this area is now clear. Now over here by the warp gate, there is a button to press. 
So let's use the Super Smash invention to activate the switch. This opens the door that was locked before, but I'm not going to go there yet. Here's some wood beams. Let's break those. This exposes a hole in the ground. Let's go through. This leads to Creepy Crawlies in the Hallways, Part 1. Now, I'm not going to do this area yet. So I'm just going to head back. Head all the way to the start where this door is and go through it. This leads back to Lighthouse Fright House Part 2. So the way to Creepy Crawlies in the Hallways is right through this door. That we had to pay the 500 Scooby Snacks in order to unlock the snack gate first. So let's warp back to Shock on the Dock Part 2. So now we're going to go through the gate. This leads to Fishy Clues for Scooby-Doo Part 1. So let's jump down. Let's take care of this enemy first. Now here's a switch that we couldn't activate before. Let's use the Super Smash Invention to activate it. This lowers this platform and turns it on so it, we can ride it to the top. We already took care of collecting all the Scooby Snacks up there, so we didn't even need to activate it. We already took care of that before. So let's continue on ahead. Okay, now all the way on the right is another switch. Let's hit it with the Super Smash invention. Okay, one, there we go. Third time's the charm. This lowers a platform for us to ride to the top. Here's some scuba diver enemies as well as a box of Scooby Snacks to collect. So we couldn't get up there before. So let's continue ahead. Let's head through the door. This leads us to Fishy Clues for Scooby-Doo Part 3. There's nothing for us to do here, so let's continue on ahead. So let's go through the door. This leads us to Fishy Clues for Scooby-Doo Part 4. Again, there's nothing else for us to do here right now. So we're just going to continue on ahead. We'll be coming back here once we are able to use the fan. So let's go through the door. This leads us to Fear on the Pier, Part 1. Now let's take care of this caveman. If you remember, under him is a button to press. So let's use the Super Smash invention in order to activate this switch. This lowers the fishing net. So now we can use it to collect these Scooby Snacks floating over here in the air.
Just double checking to make sure I got them all. Now we're gonna go past the save point and head down. We're gonna go through this door. This leads us to Fear on the Pier Part 2. Whoops, accidentally jumped over the caveman. Now, here are those wooden beams that we need to break. Don't go down there yet. Go over to the other side. Past this tar monster. Make sure to break both sides first. Otherwise, you'll be trapped down there. And your only way out will be jumping in the water. Now, let's collect these Scooby Snacks. Okay, down here, we just gotta jump across these sinking boats while collecting these Scooby Snacks. Gotta be quick here. Okay, that's all snacks collected. So let's check the map. So that's all the Scooby Snacks on Fear on the Pier, so this area is clear. We're just doing some cleanup work. So let's head back to Fear on the Pier Part 1. Now we're gonna go ahead and go through the gate. This leads us to Coast for some Ghosts Part 1. Now we still can't reach these Scooby Snacks yet. So just run all the way to the end, to the door. This leads us to Coast for some Ghost Part 2. Now if you remember, there's a switch under this barrel. So make sure to break the barrel first. Now use the Super Smash Invention to activate the switch. As you can see, this has stopped the crates. Now if you didn't already and need to collect that monster token, just wait for this life preserver to lower down and grab it. Then just ride it to the top. Then you can jump across the crates to collect the monster token all the way at the end on the right if you didn't already. We already took care of that before, so we don't have to worry about it. I'm just showing you what that switch does. So let's go through the door. This leads us to Coast for some Ghost Part 3. Okay, the time has come to collect that monster token all the way in the back there. This is a very difficult monster token to collect, especially if you're trying to collect all those Scooby Snacks in one go. Which is what I will attempt to do. Just break this barrel, and here's the switch. Now before you do that, I recommend going ahead and going through this door first. This leads us to going down which way part one. Now I'm gonna save my game while I'm here.
the reason I recommend coming through this door first and then heading back is most likely you're going to fall in the water while trying to collect these Scooby Snacks. That way you'll appear at the start right here so you can easily try again and don't have to walk all the way over here from the other side just to make it a little easier. So let's activate the switch. This brings the fishing net over so we can swing over to the boats. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have to focus here. This is really difficult. Okay, quickly gotta jump back. And every time you miss a Scooby Snack, you gotta quickly jump back. Oh, oh, this could be tricky. Okay, as you can see, it was the fish girl monster token, so make sure to collect that. I can't believe I did that all in one go without falling in the water once. Most likely, you will be falling in the water a lot. I can't express enough how difficult it is to do all of that in one go. Is that a Scooby Snack back there? Okay, now it's just a sandwich. Always good to double check. Now I could save my game right here. But I'm just going to use the warp gate to warp back to the mystery machine and save my game there. Okay, now I'm going to save my game. And this will be the end of Scooby-Doo, Night of 100 Frights, Lighthouse, Fright House.